Hello! This is one of two short videos about how to start using the Roots Finder DNA tools by importing your matches from GEDmatch. Right now, we'll focus on how to set up your Roots Finder DNA tools for the first time and prepare to import your list of matches from GEDmatch. To get started, I want to have Roots Finder and also GEDmatch open in two different tabs. I'm going to start with the Roots Finder to set up my tools. I'll click DNA from the left side menu. Right now, I just have an empty list space here because I'm just getting started. The first thing I want to do is create a kit. To do that, I'll click the plus button here. The first thing it asks for is the DNA kit ID number. That's the number corresponding to my kit at GEDmatch. The best place to get that is over here at GEDmatch down in my DNA resources. I'm going to copy my kit number and paste it over here in the DNA kit ID field. Then I'm going to tag this kit to the person in my tree whose DNA was tested with this kit. If it were another family member's kit, I'd want to make sure they're in my Roots Finder tree and then select them here. But in this case, it's my kit, so I'm going to put myself here. The next step after I create my kit is to import my matches from GEDmatch to start my list view. We'll talk about that next.